Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Chemistry videos. Today we'll be discussing about tips and tricks for conversions of organic compounds and in this video we'll be converting lower aliphatic alcohols to higher aliphatic alcohols. That is what we call essence of series. So let's see what methods we'll be covering in this video. In this video, we'll be converting lower aliphatic alcohols to higher aliphatic alcohols using nitrile group, that is cyanide group, and Grignac reagent, that is RMGX. Here, R represents alkyl group, Mg is magnesium, where X represents halogen. So let's start. First of all, introducing nitrile, or what we call cyanide group. You can see here that I put a cross, that means the direct conversion of aliphatic alcohol to uh, alkyl nitriles are just not possible. So that means we cannot convert alcohol into nitrile. So what we should do in this case, in this case, first of all, we need to convert alcohol into alkyl halides and then we need to convert alkyl halides into uh, nitriles by introducing this cyanide group. So, but what is the reason why alcohols cannot be directly converted into uh, alkyl nitriles? There are two main reasons for that. The reasons are CO bond is more polar as compared to CX bond. So if we see here, this is carbon oxygen bond and here is carbon halogen bond. So out of carbon oxygen bond and carbon halogen bond, a carbon oxygen bond is more polar as compared to carbon halogen bond because oxygen is more electronegative as compared to halogen. And the halide anion is a more stable leaving group than hydroxyl ion. So if we talk about the leaving group, which of these two out of hydroxyl ion and halide ion, which one is a leaving group? So the halide ion is a good leaving group as compared to the hydroxyl ion. And moreover, alcohols do not undergo our SN2 reaction more commonly as compared to the alkyl halide. So these are the reasons why alcohols cannot be converted into alkyl nitrites directly. So when I'm talking about this conversion of converting alcohol to nitriles, I am taking into consideration potassium cyanide or uh, sodium cyanide. With these two reagents, you cannot convert alcohol into nitriles directly. But that doesn't mean you cannot convert alcohol into nitriles directly. The recent studies have shown that there are ways in which we can convert alcohol into nitriles directly. But yes, we cannot use potassium cyanide or sodium cyanide. So what reagents we can use to convert directly alcohols into cyanide? So the reagents that we can use to convert alcohols directly into alkyl nitrite is using aqueous ammonia and CUI, BPY, and tampor in presence of oxygen. So uh, by using these reagents, we can convert alcohol into cyanide. But uh, these reagents are quite difficult to remember and to take into consideration, and these are the more recent ones. So uh, for the sake of the simplicity, I will be using the easier reagent, that is potassium cyanide and sodium cyanide, and I'll be converting first alcohol into alkyl halide to get the alkyl nitrides and further do the conversion of getting the higher alcohols. So this method is just for your information so that you know that the direct conversion of alcohols to alkyl nitrides are possible. In fact, you can watch another video in which I have mentioned all the methods in which directly alcohol can be converted into alkyl nitride using this more difficult and complicated reagents. In this, we'll be just taking into consideration the simpler reagents. So now for the timing, we know that the direct method is just not possible. So we'll be taking the uh, longer route that is converting alcohol into alkyl halide. So how can we convert an alcohol into alkyl halide? We can convert an alcohol into alkyl halide using liquid reagent, which is a mixture of hydrogen halide and zinc chloride, 
thionyl fluoride that is SOCl2 plus pyridine and phosphorus trihalides or phosphorus pentahalides. So I will be converting alcohol to alkyl halide using phosphorus pentahalides, say uh, phosphorus pentachloride I can use in this case. But I'm just taking a general method, so I'll be using general reagents, not the specific ones. So now we have converted aliphatic alcohol into alkyl halide. Now we need to convert alkyl halide into alkyl nitrile or alkyl cyanide. The first video of part one ends here. Thank you very much to watch the second video of this part and many other more videos. You can visit our website transelearning.com. Have a great day.